Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing these cute plastic wrap nails using some gel polish and poly gel. So if you're interested to see how I did these nails, then please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off today's video with a small unboxing from Umic. This is a gel polish brand that sells these cute boxes of gel polish and they have many different options to choose from. They are available on Amazon and I do have a promo code, it's Umic Nail Gel. I will have it on screen and that's for 20% off and that discount code is available from the 29th of March to the 11th of April. So do take advantage of that. So when I opened this box up, I realized that these were kind of like a mini type or it was like a mini kind of kit, which I really like. I don't know if you have seen my Cocelia gel polish swatching video, but those were my first sets of gel polishes and those were really, really good for traveling. So I was really happy that these were also like really mini. As you can see, they're very small and their shades are really really nice i've picked out two to swatch but i will show you the rest of the colors already swatched on swatch sticks that i did as i unbox these so this one is like a nice shimmery purple color and i picked out the kind of a matching kind of lavender color to go with it as well the, consi the consistency of these gel polishes are nice and thin but they are super pigmented they remind me of Glitter Bell's formula where they're not very thick but their pigment in their gel polishes is absolutely amazing. And this kit also came with a top, a base and a matte top coat which is really good and those were all full sized bottles I believe. So here you go, that's me swatching that purple one and as you can see from the first stroke it's fully opaque which goes to show how good quality these are. I could probably get away with one coat, but I did two coats just to show you guys how opaque it can get. And that's it, that's the first watch done and it just took me a couple of seconds to get it to that opaqueness. Now I'm just going in with a second layer. I've cured these for 60 seconds, by the way, in between each coat. And I like how smooth the formula is, it's super easy to apply. So I thought I'd try out the matte top coat. Here I'm just going to compare and show you guys their matte top coat compared to one that I already had. And you will see that when I open this one, it's very cloudy. So when I went to top coat my nails, I found that it used to make them kind of cloudy. Um, and it was a little bit annoying, but when I opened their matte top coat up, it was super clear as you can tell um, it's only ever so slightly kind of cloudy but that did not make any of the gel polish cloudy at all so that's a really big plus and you will see in a minute how matte it gets it was like super super matte so i would definitely be using this gel polish for the future and they felt super smooth as well so now i'm just swatching that shimmery purple color and this one was definitely a two coater of course because it's like a sheer shimmer it's not really like an opaque creamy color with these colors you can just do one coat or two depending on what look you're going for and i also cured that for another 60 seconds and now I'm going in with a second coat and this definitely shows the color up much better. So yeah, and now I'm going over with the top coat, which was really, really good as well. And that's what that one looks like. So these are all the shades that came in the box and I would have, it would have taken me way too long to swatch these on camera, but I'm really loving like that hot kind of pink color it looks so nice and yeah so you can see that they come with a lot of shades definitely giving me like the summer vibes for sure so i'm just going to show you how i did this quick design i painted the nails white then i dotted on some of those colors which were really pigmented 
and I blended them together a little bit and then I added some flakes on top and once I did that I added the matte top coat and this is what they look like you can see the flakes are really nice and iridescent depending on the light so moving on to today's video as usual I'm going to be applying my coffin tips that I got with my base coat gel and I love to do this because it's so much easier to do it's safer for your nail beds and your skin if you do get any on your skin and it's also really easy to remove as well so definitely try to put your nail tips on with some base coat gel and what I basically do is I just put some in the well then I press it onto my finger and I hold that under a UV light so now I'm just trimming down ever so slightly the tip of the nail just because I'm a little bit lazy to like file that bit so I just cut it off and here I'm just using my nail cutters I got these from Amazon And now I'm basically going in with the red poly gel from McCart's House of Florists. I do have a discount code for McCart as well. It's Nails by Camin and I will have that on screen for 15% off your purchase. So if you do want to use that, you definitely can. It is an affiliate link, which means I do make a small commission. Also, I have used this kit in a previous video, which people really seem to enjoy. So I will be linking that down below as well. So do check that out. And what I've basically done is just a nice layer of that bread poly gel. And then what I've done is without curing, I've placed some cling film on there. And I started to kind of poke at it with the spatula end of the poly gel brush but i do find that you get better results with like a pointier end there you go from like my cuticle pusher and i used the pointy end of it and also a little tip try to push in the edges of anything that kind of squeezes out because it definitely reduces your filing time in the end and it is much easier to Put the color that you want on top as well because it just makes less of a mess so once i've cured that for 60 seconds i've removed the cling film and yeah that's what it looks like and then i'm using the gel polish from umic don't forget to use the discount code umic nail gel for 20 percent off and i am basically putting that all over the nail i decided to go with this nice gold color and because these gel polishes are really nice and thin and they just seem to seep into those cracks of the poly gel really well as you can see I really enjoyed using this poly gel and I really like how pigmented that gold was as you can tell and this now is probably I think my favorite one in the end so do stay tuned for that and once I've done that, I'm basically just going to cure that for about 60 seconds. So for this pointer finger, I wanted to do a ombre kind of nail. So I'm basically going to be repeating the same thing. And I'm applying a nice thin layer of that red poly gel. Making sure to use my base coat gel from McCart as my slip solution. I've been loving to do this because it's just so easy to work gel with gel compared to like the slip solution or like acetone or rubbing alcohol with the poly gel because it dries up and then it's just <clears throat> a longer process to always having to wet your brush so I do find that using the base coat gel works wonders. And I poked at the poly gel with the cling film on there and removed it so then I decided to use this beautiful shimmery aqua blue kind of glitter which was really nice and I'm really happy I, I used the shade because the glitter really stood out in the end so 
yeah really happy with this glitter and this one was a bit of a thicker consistency but of course it's a glitter so that is expected and it was really nice and shiny as you can see like like the camera doesn't do it justice but it was much nicer in real life so for the middle finger i'm gonna do a thin layer of poly gel here nothing too thick because i'm going to be leaving this one as it is and i'm just basically going to be doing a bit of a gel polish design on this i'm not going to be adding the cling film so you do want to make sure that when you are going to put cling film over your poly gel that it that you do apply the poly gel a little bit thick so there is a bit of space and thickness for you to press down into it if it's too thin you won't really get that kind of um effect where there's all these bumps and gaps i guess so you want to make sure that if you are doing that just make sure you apply it a little bit thick for this one i did apply it quite thin because of course i wasn't going to add cling film And I'm going to do the gel polish design later on, um, as you'll see. So now I'm using this natural pink shade from McCart's Classic Poly Gel Kit. And I'm using that to create kind of like a swell or like an empty space in the middle. I think it's called negative space, I think. And again, just patting that down, making sure I'm getting the cuticle really nice and thin, making sure it's nice and neat there because I don't want any lifting. And then I'm just using my brush to neaten up those edges so that I have a nice clean space in the middle. And I'm just fixing that little bit on the edge and making sure I like the shape of both of those. So now just going in again with the red, filling in that space and applying my base coat over the top and basically just flattening that right into place. Nothing too tricky there. This was quite easy to do. And then placing the cling film over and poking at it. Bear in mind when you poke at it, don't like push all the way down into the poly gel because then you'll see through the nail tip. You just want to push down enough where there's like some unevenness and some big bumps if you are pushing down and you see that you're able to see the nails underneath then you've probably not applied a layer thick enough so just add in a bit more over the top and you should be fine so now i'm combining both of those glitters and I'm using the blue in the middle and the gold on the edges and I'm just filling in all those bumps with those gel polishes. And I've cured those for 60 seconds and I'm basically going to repeat what I did on the pointer finger right onto the last finger here. Applying my base coat and then just going straight in with my brush and just to let you guys know, I haven't wiped my brush a single time yet because like it hasn't got dirty or there's no poly gel on it. It's just got like that base coat on it. So as you can tell, it really saves a lot of time and frustration maybe because sometimes it is frustrating to always having to dip your brush in some kind of solution. So once I'm happy with that, I created a nice blend at the top i'm basically poking at it again and i will be filing these and then doing the ombre part for these nails after because i don't want to because then i wouldn't not be able to add the glitter and file it so you'll see what i mean in a minute so before i do that i'm basically i decided to do a french tip kind of nail with that gold blue glitter all over the pinky finger and I will be filing this before I do the ombre part so once I've cured everything again for 60 seconds I'm filing all the nails and 
this was really satisfying for me because I could see how the gold started to disappear and the red just started to like show through and it just looks so pretty you'll see in a bit more detail in a minute but don't get carried away and file too much because you definitely want to keep some of that gold of course try not to foul too much um yeah because that's like the whole point of this effect you want to keep that gold underneath and kind of make it look like that red is peeking through the top i guess and that should be fine once you do that if you do file too much i mean you could always add some poly gel on top after and then put the cling, thing, cling film back on and then do more gel polish um, but yeah just be careful with that because gel polish is quite easy to file much easier than poly gel so here because i haven't put the ombre part at the top i am being careful not to hit my natural nail because of course i haven't put anything around <clears throat> my cuticle area so i'm just filing where i had the poly gel and the gel polish so for this one i filed all over made sure it was nice and even and this nail was probably probably my second favorite i really like this light pink shade from mccart's classic poly gel kit i also did a review on that one so if you're interested to watch that video i will be linking it up in the description box down below and don't forget to use my discount code from mccart it's nails by camin i will have it on screen for you guys for 15 percent off your purchase from mccart.com and yes thank you if you have already used that affiliate code it really means a lot and whilst i'm at it please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying it so far thank you guys so much for helping me reach 7000 i'm really close to 10000 which is like my next milestone so thank you guys so so much for all your sweet words and kind thoughts so now like i said i'm going in with this little bead of poly gel so that, so that i can create a nice ombre and this definitely like pulls the nails together like these two especially i really like how it matched in the end with the ring finger but yes these poly gel and this gel polish is absolutely amazing i will definitely be using this gel polish more in the future let me know if there's any looks you want me to do or if there's a, like a swatch video you want me to do i will be more than happy to do a swatch video of all the gel polishes if you want that um yeah so just let me know down below and let me know what you think of this video has it been helpful have you been able to learn anything from my video or any of my previous videos please let me know i would love to know or if you just want to say hi I would also love to say hi back so now that i've done that i've cured these for 60 seconds again and i'm just wiping off the sticky layer i did file the poly gel i just applied by the way i just did it off camera because it was quickly just hand filing it and now for the satisfying bit the top coat so as i'm top coating i see all this gold and red and it looks amazing like look at how nice that gold gel polish is it's so nice and bright and even after filing it it didn't look like weird it didn't like damage any of the glitter everything still looks really nice and sparkly it looks so nice and bright especially this blue like it was so nice i absolutely love this blue and of course top coating this nail with the nice brassy bronzy kind of gold and yeah i absolutely love these nails let me know what you guys think down below and the top coat is also really good it's nice and thin and super shiny so i will definitely be testing this top coat out so i applied some cuticle oil and this is the final look let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to check out the 
products that I use in this video and the discount codes and yeah I guess that I will see you guys in my next one bye guys